Hi there, I'm Jamie Keats and welcome to Teachers Tech. I hope you're having a great night tonight. Tonight, I wanna to show you five ways that I use Camtasia 2018. I get a lot of questions uh, from people about how do I create my videos. So this isn't a full tutorial, but these are just kind of five ways uh, that I kind of use Camtasia most. I'll put out a different video, more of the full tutorial on Camtasia. So let's get started with these five features of Camtasia 2018. So the first feature I want to show you is visual effects. Now I use the visual effects quite a bit because that's what how I remove the green behind me to get my floating head. And to do this, I already recorded the intro actually for this video and I already have it in my track, you can see here. And what I need to do, first of all, I'm just going to make my head bigger so we can see this and I'm going to remove the green. So the one thing nice about Camtasia it records both me from the webcam and my screen at the same time. And then it comes out in a track like this. So what I do is I go to visual effects and I want to remove a color. So I'm going to just drag this onto this one right here because that's where my head is. And I want to remove this green. So I'm going to pick the color. So I'm just going to pick my picker here bring it over really close to me and select it. And you can see the green is gone. Uh, I'm gonna just move up the tolerance sometimes. If, if you wanted to, you can play with all these around and you can also invert it to see what's happening too. But if you get like it, uh, the way you have it, then that's good. The one thing is when you're using a green screen, uh, make sure you have lots of light on yourself on the green screen, it takes away shadows and it makes things a lot easier too. So now if I play this, you can see there's my intro and that's what you're going to see at the beginning of this video. The next thing what I use quite a bit under visual effects is timing. So right now if I click on this, here's my intro, very, very slow. I want to change the clip speed. So I'm going to drag the clip speed right over top of this. And I know I want this about three times faster. It's around 10 seconds. So I want it around three seconds. It shortened, the, shortened at that time, didn't cut anything off. So now if I play it, you can see it's much faster. So just a quick way to change the duration. One more cool thing in visual effects, and there's more things you can do, but what I wanna show you is device frame. So if you wanna be in a frame, just drag, and I got some footage here. Actually, I'll show you the footage first. I'll just put my playhead over here. It's just from an, old, an older video. But if I drag the device frame right into it, it puts me into a device. And I can go ahead and then make changes depending on what I want. So those are just some, and if you wanna get rid of it, just hit the X and it's gone. So those are just some features that I use quite a bit in the visual effects part. So let's move on now to uh, some other great features. So this next feature I think is very, very important and that's the animation feature, how I zoom up on different parts of it. And it's very easy to do inside Camtasia. So over an animation here, and I, I'm gonna, oops, I already turned it off, I've turned it on. What I'm gonna do is go back to some of the video parts you've already watched here and show an example. So here I am, if I'll just let it play for a second. So now I know I'm talking about the visual effects that you already watched, and maybe I wanna zoom up on visual effects and it's right over this part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom up and I can move my screen around here to get to where I want to. So maybe this way I can see people um, so they'd be able to see the visual effects that I'm talking about. So I get in the place where I want, but I don't want my head to be zoomed up like this. So what I'm gonna do is actually just click on this one, uh, click on my, uh, my head part one right here, and I'm just gonna delete it, and you can see it goes back to normal. So now with the animation effect, so I'll just rewind it a little bit, and when I hit play, it's gonna zoom up onto that point of it. So whenever I wanna add another one, so if I was gonna to go to something else, I can make another movement. So I notice the arrow appears on the track, so maybe I want it up over here this time. And I'll go ahead and delete. I'll just click on this arrow right here and delete it. And now I'm gonna have another movement. So what I do is after I create my videos, I go through and when I'm talking about a certain part, I zoom up on that so that the people viewing my videos can see things that much easier. So it's very simple to use. And once you get using a lot, you can do those with that effect very, very quickly. The next feature I use a lot is annotation. So if I go over to the side to annotations here, you can see we have a bunch of different ones across the top. And I'll just show you a few of the ones that I use. I use the call out one quite a bit. Sometimes maybe if I forget something and watch the video and I 
don't think I need to reshoot something, but then I'll maybe write something in a call out or just even for effects. So if I wanted to pull, and we'll just use this arrow, I could drag it right onto here. You can see in the track, I can drag it around too. So I'll put my playhead where it's on top of it. I can write inside of it. So if I wanna draw attention to something, um, I'll just say, look over here. And then I can I can bring this in different places. So if you notice, I can drag it. I can stretch this out if I wanted to play longer. I can just grab the edge of it and stretch it out. We do have properties here too. So you can take a look at the colors uh, to everything, the different fonts, where we want to change the size and you can go through and customize it the way you want. So it's a handy feature. The next thing you can notice and works kind of similar are the arrows like this too, uh, that you can go through and anything you want to adjust, take a look over at the properties, what you can do with different ones on it too. So definitely if you want to bring in something, some attention to your, uh, to your screencast, it works very easily to do that. And if you want them gone, you can just click on them and hit delete like so. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is the blur tool. So the blur tool, I use it sometimes maybe if I'm showing stuff for my personal email, but I don't want to show all the information. I blur a section out and you can see, so this under this one, and uh, what I want to do is here's the blur. So I'm just going to drag this over and I can, I'll just put it over my face and I can blur this out. I can, uh, if I want to make it uh, larger, I could pick this section and how long I want it to play for it for again. So if I wanted to stretch it out, and then as I play it, my face is going to be blurred in this case. So you, again, always check the properties of these different ones. So if I go up here, you can see I can scale everything in here. If I didn't want it quite as, a, as intense, how quickly I can do it like so. And you can see I can invert. So then I can make that clear and everything else a little blurry. So you can add some effects that way too. So those are just three of the feature in the, uh, that I use with inside the annotations. There's more there. They're all very easy to play with. Something that is new in Camtasia 2018 is the library and has lots of great effects that you can add. So I'm just going to go up to the library to show you a few of them. Now, one thing I really like is the lower thirds. So built right into these, and I'll just pick one. I'll just pick this first one. I can drag a lower third right onto this. I can stretch it out and change, and I'll just bring back my playhead a bit so you can see what happens. So I'm going to just play it, and the lower thirds is animated and comes through. You can change it. You just double click in here. I, I'll just put my name in here. Oh, with a better double click in here. Like so, spell my name right. And then I'll go ahead and then just play it again. And you'll see it has the animation that still uh, goes through it. So easy to add those lower thirds to it. And the other thing is take a look. They have some uh, nice intros in here too. So if you wanted to have a professional looking intro um, at the beginning, I'll just drag this one uh, just so you can take a look at it. And so you might put this at the beginning of it and you can write right in the laptop where it says Tech to TechSmith Camtasia, you can go ahead and change something in there. The uh, last thing I just want to show you in the library uh, and take a look at uh, all these different ones because they've added this and it has quite a few uh, good things in it. We have music so you can take a look at some music that you can bring into your tracks and these are all royalty free and you even have an option of download more assets that will go online and download some more so the library feature definitely a good feature in camtasia 2018 so you don't have to be take going through and buying subscriptions to other places and you have it right there inside camtasia so the last feature what i want to show you today is the cursor effects so i'm just going to go over to cursor effects here now the one I use mainly is, I guess I'm boring, but just the cursor effect here, the highlight one. And to get it in, just drag it on top of the screencast uh, that grabbed your screen. So if I drag it onto this one and drop it, uh, and then if I kind of move my, you can see now I have this cursor right up over here. So I can change, sometimes I don't want it so bright, maybe I want it at 30% just to kind of give it a, uh, I'll just hit play and you'll be able to see it move on it. So you can change the colors on this too. The other thing I wanted to just point out is you can have your clicks, you can have your left click or your right click and you work it in the same way. Take a look at the properties to adjust anything from there.
So I hope you like these five features. Like I said, these are common ones I use quite a bit. I'll put out another uh, full tutorial on Camtasia 2018 with more on it. Um, I'll put a link to down to Camtasia uh, down below and I'll just uh, put a list of my equipment and gear that I use uh, for screencasting too in the links down below too. So I hope you like uh, like this, uh, this video here today. We'll show you a little bit about screencasting and using Camtasia 2018. I do weekly tech tips. So thanks for watching this week and I'll see you next time.